Hi everyone, it's me. It's week six. Let's just take a second to let that sink in. We are halfway done Epic Endgame. That is absolutely ridiculous. I'm very proud of myself on how far I've made it so far. And I'm also very proud of you for whatever stage in your health and fitness journey you are currently at. So everyone, let's just take a second. I know we just started this video and nothing's happened yet, but everyone just take a moment, give yourself a little hug, little squeeze. <laughs> Let's all just show ourselves a little bit of love and support today. So getting down to business. This week we are expecting these workouts. And we are starting this week with chest and triceps. And according to Caroline, today's finisher is supposedly going to be pretty tough. <laughs> I feel like I also should mention that my upper body is already a little bit sore. So we're going into week six with muscles that are already a little bit sore. <laughs> <laughs> For me right now, it's actually mainly my like upper back kind of like this region And it's definitely because of the uh, kickboxing that we did yesterday, which was super fun But I do find that cardio kickbox usually does make my back and upper body sore because I guess it's like actions that I normally don't do Like I normally don't like punch that much <laughs> Without further ado, let's start week six. Let's get this workout started what is Oh gosh, that was brutal. <laughs> oh. oh, I'm itchy. I can't even reach my sketchy spot because my arms hurt so much. Ah. Oh. <laughs> I think I'm at a loss for words. That was hard. <laughs> First of all, the staple in this workout was like kind of a tricep, but there were breaks in between. That staple was hard, just like the series is hard. The finisher too was also brutal. Like throughout the workout, I just found myself getting more and more and more and more fatigued. So every single exercise was harder than the one before it because this workout was just like structured exactly to like kill you <laughs> so by the time we got to the 100 rep finisher my arms were already like so sore they're already like giving in so that was really really hard i feel like if you were to do that 100 rep challenge just like by itself at the beginning maybe before you've done your workout it probably wouldn't be that hard but it's just like by the time you've reached that point of this workout you've just exhausted everything you've exhausted every muscle you have in your chest and your triceps and then you're just like I don't even know where the rest of the energy is coming from. <laughs> well, that being said, that was a great start to week six. That was fun. Okay, my arms are definitely gonna be sore tomorrow. You know how last week I was talking about like every single time I feel like my muscles are gonna be sore the next day, they aren't. And then every time I feel like my muscles are gonna be fine the next day, they're actually sore the next day. So I'm guessing they're gonna be sore tomorrow. They have to be. We'll see if I'm right or wrong this time. <laughs> oh. Oh, you guys, you guys, you guys, you guys. So you guys know that I am always going to be honest with you. So I do have to say that sadly this morning I like really wasn't doing well in terms of body image. I was just feeling like kind of down on myself. I do believe my period is coming soon. And whenever my period is gonna come soon, I get flipping bloated, like bloated as heck. <laughs> <laughs> and I expect this to happen every month. I've learned for the most part to, you know, respect the bloat. It's gonna happen. It's gonna be here. It's all natural. But no one's perfect. I'm not perfect. I still have my, like, down times, I guess you could say. And this morning was definitely one of them. So I definitely started bloating yesterday, but I was feeling like on top of the world still, even though I was kind of bloated. But today, I don't know, something about today just really felt bad. So I ate breakfast this morning and then I started crying. <laughs> Why did I start crying? I 
don't honestly know how it started or what triggered it but i feel like also in my like pre-period days i also tend to be over emotional it's a real thing maybe it doesn't happen to everyone but it definitely happens to me so yeah for whatever reason this morning i started crying i started getting really down on myself and bless my dang fiance he just he cheered me up he just like hugged me for 10 minutes he was like take it easy on yourself you're fine you're doing amazing saying everything's gonna be okay and I calmed down and I put on a cute outfit and I feel a lot better now. <laughs> I feel like sometimes when stuff like that happens when just like for no reason like out of the blue You just get like really down on yourself Sometimes honestly, you just need to cry it out like it might not feel great in the moment But for me at least I don't know I just like release the emotions release them through the tears give myself the time to like relax calm down Feel better everything always turns out to be fine, and I'm just I'm back <laughs> I had a little brief down moment this morning, but I am back now. I'm still bloated. The crying did not get rid of the bloat, but it definitely helped me feel better about it and just embrace the bloat again and just like be one with my body, if that makes sense. Anyways, that was a very candid chat, so thanks for listening if you did. But yeah, I guess it's time to do our workout today and it's gonna be a leg day, so let's go. Only one. do always make you feel better, don't they? I also did forget to mention, because I was so emotional before, that my upper body is indeed sore from yesterday. So my prediction was finally correct. Finally had a workout where I thought I was gonna be sore and I was actually sore the next day. So turn of events. <laughs> but today's leg day workout was like really hard. Is it just me or did you find this one really hard too? I don't know, something about it. Very fatiguing. I think it's the whole complexes thing again. Whenever Caroline a complex workout, I just die. Or at least feel like very, very, very fatigued. The 100 rep finisher too was very like surprisingly tiring for me because when I saw that it was just 100 body weight squats essentially, in my mind, I was like, oh, it's one of the easier ones because back in my old days, way back on my channel, I actually did also do a video where I did 100 squats a day for 30 days. So I was like, I've done this so many times it's gonna be fine but you have to take into account that this is at the end of the workout and your legs are already so so tired <laughs> so that was a lot more tiring than i expected but we made it through i'm feeling like fully myself again i feel good i feel positive hopefully i don't cry again if i do cry hopefully it's like a happy cry but yeah that's it for this workout myself a little egg sandwich, salmon cream cheese, and some grapes. Mm. Sometimes it's just the simple things. Mm. Costco poke packs that are like trending on TikTok. I got my mom to get some for me because I don't have a Costco membership. This is my first time trying it. Look how good this looks. I just made some rice, put some avocado, cucumber, greens, and I just topped it off with like a little extra soy sauce and sriracha and sesame seeds. <laughs> the poke itself actually already comes like pre-sauced. You just have to defrost it. Really good. Wait, it's actually so good. It tastes like poke you would eat like 
Oh, it tastes like actual real poker. Mmm, warm. I'm so happy about this. Hi guys, it's a new day. It's bright and sunny and happy today. <laughs> I'm definitely feeling so much better. The period still has not arrived yet, but my period tends to like tease me. I have like very, very long cycles, which I guess could be seen as lucky, but I feel like because my cycles are so long, I get like these prolonged periods of PMS. And when the PMS symptoms start, I find myself just like waiting for my period to arrive. And it could be like an entire week before the period actually starts. So having a long cycle in my case is kind of like a blessing and a curse. But that being said, life will go on. And the best we can do for ourselves is just take care of ourselves mentally, physically, love ourselves, love our bodies in all stages, and just like nurture, you know? Anyways, today is back biceps and abs, I'm pretty sure, which is good because my upper body soreness is gone today, but my glutes are sore. Specifically in this like outer glute region, like sorry for just showing you my butt, but yeah, a little bit sore there. I'm feeling so much dang better. So good in fact that I did a little self timer photo shoot with myself today, so. <laughs> Let's get this workout started. Moonlight and fire dancing closely together and stay forever. I swear these workouts are getting harder. And harder <laughs> which I guess would make sense because like as you go along through a workout program in theory you should be getting stronger so I guess in theory the workouts should also be getting harder but oh my gosh all the workouts this week have been absolutely killer and as always with every single Caroline workout I'm starving after that one so yes I did make my banana chocolate chip muffins again this week so I'm gonna eat one now I'm really wondering if it's just me because my periods coming soon I tend to feel a bit weaker around my period so it could be me but I swear this week has just been brutal with the strength workouts like actually brutal <laughs> Oh my god, that is a good muffin though. We did supersets today, which I guess are meant to be fatiguing in the first place. But when we got to the core section, Caroline decided to take out all rest periods. One after the other, core burnout after core burnout. I do feel like my core is like a little bit rusty in terms of doing like core workouts one after the other for an extended period of time, you know? But yeah, we're done today's workout, which means we have a rest day tomorrow. Thursday rest days are just like... <laughs> Love them so much. Last bite of muffin. <laughs> it so simple so so yummy oh my god ridiculous it's so good it's so good <laughs> so good <laughs> Why do I make things Ooh, cookie dough cake what Why do I lose all my control oh, oh. I keep on oh, letting my bed look, at <laughs> look how good it looks oh my gosh It's really sweet. <laughs> it's pretty good though. Pretty good. It's really, really good. Did you just do a face reveal? <laughs> yes. <laughs> you wish. Face reveal for birthday. Oh my god, that's really good. It's a giant cookie on the bottom. <laughs> okay, here is the situation today. The period still has not arrived. <laughs> <laughs> is anyone else like this or is it just me? My period is quite stable these days. Again, I just have a really long cycle normally, but like it's pretty consistent. But for some reason, once the PMS symptoms start, like the pre-period symptoms, immediately my thoughts jump to like, I'm going to get my period tomorrow. Even though I also use like one of those period cycle trackers on my phone, like I have an app and it literally tells me the exact day I'm going to get my period. But I just 
don't trust it. I always like immediately, like the NYX comes out, the leak proof underwear, I gotta wear the panty liners, like just in case it starts and I don't wanna make a mess. Even though on my app, it's literally telling me like, you're not gonna get your period for another full week. You're just getting pre-period symptoms. But I don't know, <laughs> I just don't trust it. I feel like I also am the type to be very like anxious. I tend to very anxiously anticipate everything in life, so it could just be my personality. But yeah, all that to say, my period's not here yet. I'm still experiencing bloating and pre-period symptoms. And yeah, the birthday's tomorrow, which is cool because tomorrow's a rest day and I get to have a rest day on my birthday. <laughs> but before we can get back to rest day, we do have a full body workout to do today. I think in the title of today's video, Caroline actually mentions it's full body strength and cardio, so... <sighs> <laughs> I feel like I'm never in the mood to do cardio like near my period But I did hear from some of you actually that doing a bit of cardio before your period starts will help alleviate your cramping and other symptoms when your period does hit So I guess if we do some cardio today, it'll be better for us in the long run And I think that's enough rambling for today. So <laughs> let's work out Swear that the workouts this week have been significantly harder overall than in the past couple weeks So I feel like Caroline is really stepping up the difficulty in this second half of the program <sighs> I just bonk myself <laughs> the finisher though was not too bad. I think that my history with yoga really helped in that finisher today It was just like a move that I was very very familiar with doing so the finisher itself wasn't too hard for me today But the rest of the workout was <sighs> Hard. <laughs> Anyways, I'm finished today's workout, which means I can relax for my birthday tomorrow. Yay! Happy birthday to me. <laughs> All right, see you guys later. Hey. <laughs> 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 birthday. <laughs> updates for you guys. So yesterday was my birthday. I am now the ripe old age of 29. I know, shocking. <laughs> yesterday was fun. I didn't like formally vlog because I wanted to take the day off from like work and stuff, but I hope you enjoyed that little vertical video montage. And then my second update is I got my period yesterday. Happy birthday. Here is your period. <laughs> <laughs> Funny. But yeah, today is the second day of my period, so that's fun. Why does my notorious second day of period always happen to fall on Caroline Cardio Sundays? Why? I guess that's just how the cycle works, isn't it? So yeah, we're kind of back at that week two, I believe. That's the last time this happened. And it was literally the same situation. A second day of period, cardio day. It's just great. 
<laughs> the other thing is, just to top all of that, so you guys know that Sundays are also my YouTube premiere video days at 9 a.m. EST on Sundays. We always do a fun video premiere. I always attend in the chat and we can like talk and stuff and discuss things. And in today's chat, you guys gave me a preview of what today's cardio workout was going to be like. And apparently, we're gonna have to do a hundred burpees as the finisher. Really? <laughs> I'm on my period. <laughs> To be honest, you guys, in any normal circumstance, I probably would just take a rest day today and just delay everything by a day. But I wanna make sure I stay on top of the workout so I can update you guys in real time in my YouTube videos. I don't want to fall behind. So I'm gonna try and see if I can do this workout. I'm gonna do it to the best of my ability. Again, like same as in week two. If I need to take it slower, I will. If I need to take extra rest times, I will. And honestly, if I don't complete 100 burpees at the finisher, that's okay I'm gonna let myself just take it easy today but I'm gonna still get the workout done let's just do this dang cardio workout <laughs> Very important note to you. If you ever find a boy that feeds you cake after you work out, keep him. <laughs> oh my gosh. So, first of all, I don't understand why, but I guess. Oh. <laughs> I guess Caroline likes to line up her burpee bonanzas along with my period cycle. Because <laughs> the last time we had a burpee bonanza, that was my last period. So, it's too much to be a coincidence, isn't it? <laughs> In all seriousness, that was a really good workout. It's definitely a workout that I would normally really enjoy because I really like burpees, I really like this kind of movement. So yeah, I think I really genuinely would have liked this workout. I was definitely a lot floppier than usual. Like my form was very floppy today. I was also moving at like half the speed I probably normally would, but that's okay, that's fine. I'm just happy and so proud of myself that I got through it. And to top it all off, I did the 100 burpees at the end. I completely them. I didn't think I was going to. I started this workout thinking like even if I get 50 burpees I'm gonna be so proud of myself and I would be if I did only get 50 burpees But I surprised myself I guess I'm proud of myself wherever you are in your fitness journey if you're active today if you're resting today I'm proud of you too. So let's just smash it guys <laughs> and that concludes week six we only have four weeks left of this challenge and hopefully we won't have another period cardio day combination <laughs> so if you guys have been following this journey if you've been following me week to week with caroline's epic endgame and you do like this series please remember to give me a like and a comment if you don't know what to comment down below give me a bunch of cake emojis if you like me subscribe do that bell thing and i will see you in the next one Bye!